Mo. I'm Genoa. And we're back today having the sex talk. The sex talk. The sex talk. Today we were going to talk to you about sex contracts. Every couple has a sex contract. Whether you, they know it or not. Whether you've talked about it or not. It's yeah. you have one. It's an unspoken or a spoken contract, but yeah. every couple has one. Yeah. Sometimes you do an unspoken increment by increment until you have the sex contract yeah and some people do it at, right out of the gate saying this is right. what i like this is what i don't like right this is how many right. you know so, so let's talk about what for example isn't a sex contract okay for example like you and your partner always have sex with the lights on that is now in your sex contract. It's what we do. It's what we like. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You've never talked about it. It's now your sex. Yeah. You always make out first and then get on your stomach and stick your butt up in the air. Yes. That's... I do. <laughs> you do that every time. Every time. And then you lean over and you s switch the lights off. That's now in your sex contract. That's Because you do it yes. every time. Why do I got to do that? <laughs> Yeah, so you have these uh, unspoken or spoken things. Routines. Routines in your sex life. Yeah. And so we're saying, why not shake it up a little bit? Why not talk about, like, have a real conversation? It's like, oh, you know what? We always do this. Yeah. yeah. And let's try something new. Right. The thing about sex contracts is they're great if there is an opportunity to renegotiate them. All contracts should be open for renegotiation. Right. But if you don't know that you actually have a, a sex contract, how the hell are you yeah. going to renegotiate If you've it? never thought about it, if you just go like, yeah, we have sex, blah, blah, blah. But yeah. really, there's probably things in we there have sex, that are our, given you can change. With our eyes closed every time. That's just how we do it. Yeah. And your partner really wants to switch it up and wants you to watch. How do you know that unless you ask? Yeah. So this, renegotiate that contract. Yeah. So this this episode is about recognizing one that you do have a sexual contract in your relationship. That's right. And two, that it's probably unspoken, although many people might have spoken contracts, which yay. you're hip. You're yeah. hip. You yeah. might have one. Yeah. And three, if it's an unspoken sexual contract, make it a spoken sexual contract because then you have more opportunity to renegotiate mm -hmm. and change some patterns and routines that might not be working for one partner. That's right. That you guys just keep doing because it's the norm. And it's because expected. it works. Yeah. Like you, you probably do these things because they work, AKA they make you both come. Like right. you've kind of gotten to this place where mm -hmm. you know you do this and you do this and mm -hmm. then from behind and then in the top and then the vibrator or whatever. And you know that works. <laughs> but if you actually have a conversation about this unspoken contract that you have, you'll probably find some room for improvement where someone is probably has an idea yeah. for something they'd like to try right. that could be even more fun than the thing you're doing now. Right, right. Like maybe opening your eyes. <laughs> maybe flipping over from time to time. Oh, uh, could you just watch me while I touch myself? Could we not do it on the bed? For once. For once. Yeah. That count that kitchen counter is like the right height. Can we just I like the dining table a lot. So cute. The elevator. I'm just saying, there's so many options. There's so many options. So review your sex contract with each other mm -hmm. if you haven't already. Yeah. And check out areas that could use some improvement. Clauses. Yeah. Some new clauses. Some new clauses. For your contract. And again, what is this the thing we like about this? It's communication. Yeah. It's honesty, mm -hmm. it's trying new things. It's improvement on your sex life. Self-improvement and couples improvement. All of it. It's, it's what we love here. Yeah. At the sex It'll life. keep you bonded together. Bonding. Too.